Hi folks, welcome to the Curtis Ghost Corner. No BS here, just straight commentary. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back to Curtis Ghost Corner from the Washington Examiner. After holding out, Biden administration acknowledges ongoing Uyghur genocide in China that cannot be ignored. Yeah, okay. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a. They're, they're not, not. They're competition for us. Um, you ignored it when you were vice president for eight years. You ignored the atrocities all the years you were in the Senate. You knew about the Uyghur genocide the whole time. They're going, oh, you know, Trump didn't do anything either. Oh, he called them out on it several times. And right in front of the Chinese president, I might add. You think Biden's got those kind of balls? Nah. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us. Let's read on. The White House acknowledges an ongoing genocide against the Uyghur Muslims by the Chinese Communist Party Ending days of stubborn resistance by the State Department to say such an autocracy is happening at the present time. Stubborn resistance. They just can't say it out loud. Just like they couldn't say at the 99% of the BML pro, BLM protests turned out to be riots, destruction, fire, many deaths. Couldn't acknowledge it. Still hasn't, by the way. The concession by President Biden's team. See, this is how sick this is. It's a concession. Ah, I don't want to digress too much here. The concession by President Biden's team, which is sure to have significant geopolitical implications. Yeah, okay. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a, they're, they're not, they're competition for us. Realigns his view to match that of the Trump administration in the latter's final day in power. When the then Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in a bulletin that he believed there was an ongoing genocide against the estimated one to two million Uyghurs and other religious minorities in Xinjiang in western China, where they have been placed in detention centers across the region. A lot more than that. A lot more than that. Slave labor by the million... Hundreds of thousands of people, slave labor. All those products you buy cheap? Think about that for a minute. You progressives and leftists? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Asian people don't count as people as color anymore. So it's okay. Unbelievable. It comes out one day after the release of a first-of-its-kind legal analysis by Newsline's Institute for Strategy and Policy. Jesus. Long enough name. A think tank located in Washington. No. Which determined the Chinese government breached each and every act prohibited by the United Nations Genocide Convention and its treatment of Uyghurs and other Muslim minorities. Not only did they break genocide, not that I'm a big UN fan, but each and every act prohibited. It takes some doing. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks, but guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us. President Biden spoke with President Xi on February 10th, and part of that conversation was making clear our strong concerns about human rights abuses in Xinjiang, a White House spokesperson told the Washington Examiner on Wednesday evening. The crimes against humanity and genocide that have been and continue to be inflicted on Uyghurs cannot be ignored, and we must meet, be met with serious consequences. Ooh, what's going to happen? Joe Biden's not going to send him a Christmas card this year or call him on his birthday to wish him happy birthday. Serious consequences like what? Don't you remember? You know, they're not bad folks. Our China policy is predicated on our core sources of strength, including our values and our ability to work in harmony with like-minded partners and allies. Oh, my God, I want to gag. We work with these partners bilaterally and in multilateral fora to determine how we can impose costs on China together and ensure that these aristocracies stop, the White House spokesman added. Have you ever seen so much BS in one paragraph in your life? Have you really? I, you know, 
they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. Our values and our ability to work in harmony with like-minded partners and allies. Oh my God, you want to gag? It means nothing. Secretary of State Antony Blinken acknowledged China had committed genocide and sworn testimony as a nominee for the top of a diplomatic role. But there have been an air of mystery over whether the Biden administration itself would take that stance about the present situation in the Western province. You have people acknowledging it all over the world. I'm not a big BBC fan. BBC did a whole story on the Uyghurs and how millions of them are being treated like the Jews in Nazi Germany. And what happened to BBC? They were barred from China. <laughs> Acknowledge that it's even happening? This is worse than FDR with the Jews in Germany. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. Oh God, let's read on. As Blokin's team once he was confirmed, dance around reporters asking if they would acknowledge an ongoing genocide in China, instead of only allowing that genocide was committed against the Uyghurs in, in Xinjiang. I never can pronounce that. A small difference in wording it has, but one that Republicans picked up on is they argue that Biden's administration is too soft on China. The Chinese Communist Party is engaged in ongoing genocide against the Uyghurs and other minorities in Xinjiang, said Senator, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas told the Washington Examiner on Tuesday. The Biden administration is rushing to embrace China, and I'm deeply worried that the refusal to explicitly acknowledge and condemn the ongoing genocide is part of that embrace. Well, Chinese officials have denied charges of them being a genocide and defended their vocational education and training centers. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. By the way, for those of you that weren't paying attention, those are the same thing the progressives and all the Bernie people said when they took over. They would have education and training centers for all the Trump supporters. I'm not making this up. Look under Project Veritas. They had some uh, undercover videos. As an effort to combat terrorism, Uyghur survivors had described being insulted, beaten, abused, raped by guards for their religious beliefs. No, they enslaved them to work to make products cheap so they could sell to the West, especially us, so they can make billions. And here you want to hear the really twisted part of all this? They harvest their organs. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not they're competition for us. Now they're Muslims. So many very rich Muslims. Something to do with Islamic law. I'm not familiar with it. When you have transplants, it has to come for another Muslim. I, I forgot the actual details. And they're selling these organs all over the Middle East for huge money. And all over China. To do what? To raise money. Just not a problem. Just kill people, harvest their organs, and sell them. Not a problem. They might have come up when Blinken and Biden's National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, fly to Anchorage, Alaska next week to meet with their Chinese counterparts. It's important to speak up and speak out and make sure that other countries are doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be the world leader of, of, of decency and looking out for people that are being screwed over, people that are being enslaved and put in prison camps. We're the ones that are supposed to be looking out for the rest of the world. What happened to that? We want to make sure that we're not the only ones saying China sucks. God, what a spineless. We have been clear, and I've been clear, that I see it as genocide, other er 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 erroneous abuses of human rights. And we'll continue to make that clear, Blinn said after, said later in his testimony, adding that if China had nothing to hide, then it should allow international access to Xinjiang. I have a little trouble pronouncing the words today, having a tough time. 
I'm right in the process of having a series of rabies shots. I've got to go again tomorrow night. For those of you dog owners out there, if your dog bites somebody, don't take off so you can't find out if the dog had his shots to make somebody go through this. I throw that in. It has nothing to do with the video, just a little PSA. But you know what, folks? There you are. You have to take them kicking and screaming and begrudgingly admit that there's genocide going on in re-education and training camps. I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not, they're competition for us. They're enslaving millions of Uyghurs because they're all terrorists. Are you kidding? Don't you remember? They're not bad folks. They're not bad folks at all. No, we can eat their lunch, man. Come on, man. Remember that stupidity? Well, those of you out there that said, I can't stand Trump. I hate his guts. He's a big mouth. He's an egotist. He talks too effing much. He's on Twitter too much. He's a moron. I wish he'd shut up. He's a racist. He's a homophobe. He hates women. He hates Muslims. He hates black people. He hates brown people. He hates Mexicans. He hates Africans. He hates, he hates the earth. He hates, he hates, he hates, he hates, and he's a moron. I can't stand him anymore. I voted for Biden. Okay. What about the enslaved millions of people in China? You know what you get from all you progressives? Crickets. Nothing. As long as your side is ignoring incredible genocide, this is pretty this is pretty close on a scale that maybe not so much in Germany, that was a much higher scale. But the genocide that went on in Southeast Asia for a long time, millions. And also on the African continent, by the hundreds of thousands and millions, based on race and religious uh, affiliation. Are we saying, well, John, everybody in Africa is black. I, isn't black a race? No, there's different tribes. There's different eth ethnicities everywhere. Asia, Africa. That's the problem when you progressives out there. You think all black people are the same and all brown people are the same. And all Asian people are the same. They're not. Just like all white people aren't the same. Get me going. But I saw this and cannot be ignored. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Trump would have the balls to put huge tariffs. Trump would have the balls to get, to get the European countries, especially in Eastern Europe where they got some guts, to go after China. Hungary, Poland, all of them would have. But China has so much money now. They're buying up all this land in the United States. They're basically controlling a good third of the African continent. They're buying up a lot of spot in the Caribbean, all through Southeast Asia, everywhere. They're planting their flag, at least economically, everywhere in the world. And this is the response from the gutless Biden administration? They have no spine. I, you know... They're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not they're competition for us. Oh, China. They're not bad folks. <sighs> Biden voters, this is what you wanted. And you got it. But next time you vote for president, do me a favor. Don't screw over 75 other million people because you can't figure out who the hell to vote for. Because your emotions take over your brain. Yes, Trump was an ass. But he would have fought these guys ten times harder than Biden. So I guess the president of China doesn't get a call on his birthday this year. And he doesn't get a Christmas card. Oh well. Until next time, folks. Goodbye and good luck.